Rural data and big data are two terms that are often heard together in many different settings, often interchangeably. Big data is the large term that refers to all of the electronic information coming out of the digital explosion that's coming at a, an increased variety of velocity and volume of pace than, than has ever been seen before. Our group likes to think of rural data as a subset of big data. It's the clinical data used for decision making that did not come from a clinical trial. In that context, it could be anything from epidemiological surveys to electronic health record data to um, health insurer claims data to uh, even, even registries and prospective cohort studies fall in that definition because they are in essence capturing usage patterns outside of a clinical trial. But in this context, it's usually largely the secondary retrospective data sources that are being generated as part of this um, information explosion that are creating new opportunities and ways to harness them for um, use throughout the healthcare system. Drugs in a clinical trial setting are given in a very controlled fashion. Once they're out on the market, um, how safe and how efficacious they are can be tremendously impacted by how patients take them and how doctors prescribe them. And rural data provides a great avenue to understand that. It's also helpful for understanding subpopulations of people you know, with disease or drugs so that we can further harness or, or target or refine our opportunities to develop drugs to meet pockets of unmet need not seen previously or improve upon how we get our therapies to the patients who need them. I do believe that clinical trial data and rural data together will provide a very synergistic combination that will, along with the other elements yet to be discovered that big data will bring, to help improve the personalization of care that patients receive. A clinical trial is a study done in a very defined population with a very defined dose and treatment regimen with fixed comparators, relatively speaking, in order to understand the effect of the drug. So there's a trade-off between getting a accurate read on the drug's effect and doing it in a population that you can generalize from. Supplementing that or complementing that with rural data allows you to expand the base of information you have on how the drug is used to really, frankly, get a much broader look at how the drug behaves once it gets into the healthcare marketplace. And then from that richer variety of patients taking it, prescribers prescribing it, hone in on patterns of usage and opportunity to improve care around different patient populations. A lot of the potential for big data in um, early drug discovery is in the area of precision medicine and personalized medicine. Being able to look across the variety of novel genomic data that's being created by advances in genomic sequencing technology, GWAS, SNP, exome data, and being able to pair that with preclinical data, pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic data, preclin safety, and then also clinical trial data and real world data gives an opportunity for a much more holistic picture of patients and disease process and drivers, which although early we think is something that as these data sets get richer and we're able to integrate them better, will help us be more targeted and precise about how we decide which mechanisms of treatment to pursue in developing our new compounds.